Well, first of all, I think, I argue that consciousness cannot be reduced to physical processes. All you get from physical processes is structure and dynamics. And explaining structure and dynamics will explain many things, but it doesn't explain consciousness. To bring consciousness into the picture, you need something new and fundamental, either consciousness as a fundamental property or proto-consciousness. Then the question is where it fits into the universe. The most obvious thing to do at this point is to embrace dualism and say that consciousness is something fundamental, separate from the physical, that interacts with it. No, I don't. I think it's a very hard problem. People have some interesting speculative ideas, but I'm not at all, I'm not at all confident that it will be solved. The more I try to think about it, the harder it gets. We had a small workshop a year or two ago just on the combination problem. See, either we can solve it or to prove it can't be solved. We didn't quite do either, but the more I think about it, the more I realize just how difficult it is. I think we have some interesting ideas on the table, but I'm not expecting a definitive solution anytime soon. One thing that's very nice now compared to 20 years ago is there are a number of positive theories around for thinking about it, but nothing which has convinced terribly many people. So I think it's still quite early and you know, maybe it will be 100 years, maybe it'll be 200 years, but at least we're playing with some interesting ideas and I think we have to try. I mean, we're not gonna solve the problem without, without trying first, so I expect we'll make many mistakes before we finally find a solution. This is amazing. I keep saying, how could you, you come to Greenland and there are still some people who deny the existence of Qualia? <laughs> <laughs> just, yes. just experience. It's just an illusion. Tell me, tell me all this is an illusion.